the bell icon to turn on notifications. One thing that can be really useful in project is to create WBS codes. And WBS stands for Work Breakdown Structure. And what a WBS code is, is a unique code that helps us identify each task in our project. Now, why on earth would you need a WBS code to identify your tasks? Well, it might be that in some projects you have tasks with the same name. For example, if we look at this project on the screen, you can see task number 46 is get budget approval. And this is related to approving the budget for the venues. And then a bit further down, we also have another task, task number 55, which is also get budget approval, but this time it's related to travel and accommodation for the trainers. So effectively, these tasks have the same name. So adding a unique identifier is going to be helpful to us further down the track. So let's take a look at how we can create WBS codes and apply them to our schedule. Now, the first thing we want to do here is we want to add a column into our project plan to show our WBS codes. So don't make the mistake of thinking that the task ID is the unique identifier. This is effectively just the row number or the task number. So let's insert a WBS column. So I'm going to right click on task mode and we're going to go to insert column. And this is where we can choose the type of column that we're inserting. So I'm going to scroll all the way down because these are in alphabetical order and we should have one for WBS and there it is. Now notice as soon as I add this column, it's giving me its default WBS numbering. Now we can create our own custom numbering to make this a little bit more relevant to the project that we're working on. So let's take a look at how we would do that. So to create our own WBS codes, we need to jump up to the project ribbon. And in the properties group, we have a WBS option. If we click the drop down, we can go to define code. And this is where we can create our own work breakdown structure codes. Now, the first thing we can do here is we can add in a project code prefix. So in order to uniquely identify this project, I could give it a prefix of let's say TRP for training rollout project. And I'm going to put a dash there because I want a dash to separate that project code prefix and any numbering that I go with after this. So now in this code mask area, we can define the numbering sequence that we want to use for our unique codes. And this first one is the top level. So if we click the drop down just here, we can choose what we want it to display. So I'm going to say numbers. And you'll see as I select these, we get a code preview at the top. So if I was to click on OK just here, my tasks are going to be numbered TRP1, TRP2, TRP3, so on and so forth. In the length column, I can place a limit on the number of characters. So if I was to select two just here, it means the numbers are going to run from zero to 99. And I'm going to leave my separator as a period. Now I'm going to add another level. And this time I'm going to choose lowercase letters. And once again, I'm going to select two characters. And again, you can see in the code preview exactly what this is going to look like. So this part of the code is going to run through from A to ZZ. Let's add another level. So I'm going to say uppercase. This time I'm going to make the length three. Our fourth level is going to be numbers and I'm going to set this to two and let's add a fifth level as well. That's also going to be numbers and I'm going to leave that on any length. So now we've defined what our code is going to look like. We want to make sure that we keep these two checkboxes underneath selected because it means it's going to generate a new unique WBS code for any new tasks that I add into the project. And it's also going to keep checking that the WBS codes that are being added are unique. So let's keep those checked. Click on OK. And now you can see if we widen out this WBS column exactly what our numbering structure looks like. So let's take a look at our summary tasks that we have here. Those have TRP01, TRP02, TRP03, so on and so forth. The next level down is 01AA, 01AB, 01AC, so on and so forth. And that pattern continues throughout our project plan. 
Notice as we get a bit further down in this project plan where we have more outline levels, we can see our WBS code is using more of the code that we specified. So for example, task number 31 is TRP05AA and then we have triple A. The next one goes to double AB, double AC, so on and so forth. So WBS codes are a great way to create a custom code that helps you uniquely identify tasks in your project plan. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.